Avengers Resolve 20 is here with a lot of new features and updates to the features that you already love. One of the first things that will catch your eye when you open the edit page is the new keyframe editor, which makes it easy to adjust your animations with crazy precision. Select your keyframes, smooth them out and adjust the curves until you get a perfect result. And speaking of perfect results, check out the new upgraded Text Plus tool. Forget about editing your text manually. The new Wrap to Text Box function allows you to adapt your text to whatever format you're working on in seconds. Need to make a vertical video? The new layout for Vertical Timeline adds a vertical viewer and automatically rearranges the workspace so that you can work on vertical videos a lot faster. And if you want to change your timeline settings, you can now quickly change from a horizontal timeline to a vertical or a square one in just a few clicks. Create awesome text compositions with the new multi-text tool. You can adjust each text layer individually all in one place. You can change the font, the color, the layout, and even add keyframes to each of them. We've talked about text, but what about voice? The new voiceover tool allows you to record directly on your timeline. The tool is so straightforward that with just a few clicks, you are all set up to just press record and talk into your microphone. If you think that's cool, wait, let me tell you about the new voice convert function. In just a few seconds, I was able to use the preset templates to change my voice completely, and it worked pretty well. And you can even create your own voice preset that is actually created and stored locally, for privacy reasons, of course. After you've recorded yourself and added all your sound effects, you have to mix things properly. The new AI-powered audio assistant can help you mix your videos in just a few clicks. And you want to know what else you can do with just a few clicks? With the new AI Magic Mask 2 in the color page, you can mask your subject with crazy precision. While you're in the color page, you can use the new Chroma Color Warp tool to adjust your color and saturation in a single motion. Or you can also use the new automatic depth map effect to instantly generate a 3D depth map of your scene. You can also now add markers and annotations right from the color page viewer. Just activate the markers overlay and now you can draw right on top of your viewer. And you can use the marker that was created to add your notes. Which is great if you're working with other people in the same project. And if that's the case for you, make sure to check out the new updates to the Blackmagic Cloud, which you can use to share your projects with your team and work at the same time from anywhere on this planet. Now, we cannot forget about Fusion. You can now check how the color grade looks in your Fusion composition right from the Media Out node. If you need to create an animation but your source image has multiple layers, that's not an issue anymore. With a new multiple layer pipeline, you can bring your multi layers EXRs and Photoshop files and edit each layer individually. And if you're someone that likes to create really interesting visuals, Check out the new Warper tool features that allow you to create some super cool stuff. All you have to do is add a few points, then warp them, and then animate them. And if you're someone that makes a lot of VFX, make sure to check out the new advanced volume rendering, the 3D scene dome light, and also the deep image compositing tools. Now let me tell you about some of the other AI features that are coming within the Ventures of 20. If you're someone that makes scripted content, you can use the AI IntelliScript to help you generate your timeline based on your original project script. Want to add cool subtitles to your videos? Make sure to check out the AI animated subtitles that allow you to create custom animated captions for your videos. If you ever had your song cut short, well, that's a problem of the past because the AI music editor will allow you to adjust a music track's length to fit your videos and it will give you four different versions to choose from. If you've ever had to edit a podcast, the new AI IntelliCut will be your best friend. It allows you to quickly split the dialogue into a separate track per speaker. Need to edit to the beat, but don't want to manually add the markers? Well, the AI Detect Music Beats will do this for you. All you have to do is let it analyze and it will automatically place the markers on the beats. And if there is something of the song that you're using that you don't like, you can actually use the music remixer to just get rid of it. 
You can adjust the level of the voice, the drums, the bass, the guitar, or any other instrument that is in that piece. And those are only a few of the new features that you will find in DaVinci Resolve 20. It is still in beta and there are things that need to be polished. But if you want to go more in depth into some of these features, I'm going to link down in the first comment of this video a bunch of other videos by other creators so that you can check them out as well if you haven't done so yet. That is it for this video. Bye.